Welcome to Gigabyte Tech, the channel that brings you the latest in finance and technology. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some truly mind-blowing financial statistics of the average person in the United States. You won't believe some of the numbers we've dug up, so let's get started. First up, let's talk about the average household debt in the United States. Did you know that the average household carries over $137,000 in debt? That's a staggering number, and it's only getting worse. With the cost of living increasing, it can be challenging for many people to stay afloat, let alone pay off their debts. This high level of debt can make it challenging to save for the future, leading to financial stress and anxiety. Moreover, if someone loses their job or has an unexpected expense, it can be challenging to keep up with their debt payments. The level of household debt in the United States is a significant problem that needs to be addressed. People must take control of their finances and make smart choices to avoid accumulating too much debt. So, how much do people in the United States make on average? Well, according to the latest statistics, the median income is around $68,000 per year. That may seem like a lot, but when you factor in the high cost of living in many areas, it doesn't go as far as you might think. Housing, healthcare, and education costs have all been increasing rapidly and this can make it challenging for many people to make ends meet. Even with a median income, it can be difficult to cover all the necessary expenses, let alone save for the future. For many people, the median income may not be enough to cover all their expenses, and they may need to consider additional sources of income or budgeting strategies to make ends meet. Now let's talk about net worth. How much are people in the United States worth on average? The answer may surprise you. The average net worth is around $121,000. However, that number is skewed by the wealthy elite. In reality, most people have far less in savings and assets. Net worth is calculated by subtracting someone's liabilities, such as debt, from their assets, such as cash, investments, and property. For many people, their net worth is tied up in their home equity, retirement savings, and other long-term assets. However, with rising housing and healthcare costs, it can be challenging for many people to save for the future and accumulate assets. Moreover, income inequality has been increasing in recent years, and this has led to a widening gap between the wealthiest and poorest Americans. For many people, their net worth may be much lower than the average, making it difficult to cover unexpected expenses or save for retirement. It is important for individuals to take control of their finances and develop a plan for building wealth over time. Next up, let's talk about emergency funds. How many people have one? Shockingly, only around 40% of Americans have an emergency fund. That means that most people are living paycheck to paycheck and are one unexpected expense away from financial ruin. An emergency fund is typically recommended to be at least three to six months worth of living expenses. This can provide a safety net in case of job loss, unexpected medical expenses, or other unforeseen circumstances. Without an emergency fund, people may be forced to rely on credit cards or loans to cover unexpected expenses, leading to additional debt and financial stress. There are many reasons why people may not have an emergency fund, including high living expenses, low income, or lack of financial education. However, it is important for individuals to prioritize building an emergency fund over time. A credit score is a numerical representation of someone's creditworthiness based on their credit history and other financial factors. In the United States, the average credit score is currently estimated to be around 711. While this score is not necessarily considered bad, it may not be high enough to qualify for the best rates on loans, credit cards, or other financial products. Having a higher credit score can be beneficial for many reasons. For example, a high credit score can help someone qualify for lower interest rates on loans, which can save them thousands of dollars over time. It can also make it easier to get approved for credit cards or other forms of credit, as lenders view high credit scores as an indicator of financial responsibility. Improving one's credit score can take time and effort, but it is often worth the investment. Some ways to improve a credit score include making on-time payments, keeping credit card balances low, avoiding opening too many new accounts at once, and monitoring credit reports for errors or fraudulent activity. 
by prioritizing good financial habits and working to improve their credit score. Individuals can set themselves up for financial success in the long run. Student loan debt is a significant financial burden for millions of Americans. Recent statistics indicate that around 44 million people in the United States have student loan debt, with the total amount of debt exceeding $1.7 trillion. This is a staggering amount of debt that can have long-term effects on individuals' financial health and well-being. The rising cost of tuition, fees, and other educational expenses has contributed to the increase in student loan debt. Many people are forced to take out loans to finance their education, which can lead to high monthly payments and many years of debt repayment. Additionally, interest rates on student loans can be high, which can add to the overall cost of borrowing. Student loan debt can have many negative consequences on individuals' financial lives. It can impact credit scores, limit the ability to save for retirement or other financial goals, and even delay major life events such as buying a home or starting a family. In some cases, student loan debt can even lead to default or bankruptcy. To manage student loan debt, individuals can explore options such as income-driven repayment plans, loan forgiveness programs, or refinancing to lower interest rates. Additionally, it is important for individuals to prioritize making on-time payments and keeping up with their loan obligations to avoid default or other negative consequences. For many people, owning a home is a symbol of financial stability and a significant milestone in their lives. However, with home ownership comes a significant financial responsibility, a mortgage. According to recent statistics, Around 65% of homeowners in the United States have a mortgage, and the average mortgage debt is around $208,000. Mortgages can be long term financial obligations that can last for 30 years or more. Monthly mortgage payments can be a significant portion of an individual or family's budget, which can impact their ability to save for other financial goals. Additionally, mortgage debt can have an impact on credit scores and financial stability. It's important to remember that not all mortgages are created equal. Different types of mortgages can have varying interest rates, repayment terms, and down payment requirements, which can impact the overall cost of borrowing. It's essential for individuals to carefully consider their options and find a mortgage that works for their unique financial situation. Additionally, it's important to prioritize making on-time mortgage payments and avoiding default or foreclosure. Falling behind on mortgage payments can have severe consequences, including damage to credit scores and potential loss of the home. Overall, mortgage debt is a significant financial obligation that can impact individuals' financial well-being for many years. Retirement age is an important consideration for many individuals as they plan for their financial future. According to recent statistics, the average retirement age in the United States is around 62 to 65 years old. However, this age can vary depending on factors such as health, personal finances, and job opportunities. While retirement can be a time to relax and enjoy life, it can also be a significant financial challenge for many people. Retirement requires careful financial planning and management to ensure that individuals have enough money to support themselves throughout their golden years. This includes saving for retirement through vehicles such as 401k plans, IRAs, and other retirement savings accounts. Unfortunately, many individuals struggle to save enough money for retirement, which can lead to financial hardship in later years. In some cases, individuals may have to work well into their 70s or even 80s to make ends meet. It's essential to consider retirement planning as a critical aspect of overall financial planning. This includes determining how much money is needed to retire comfortably, creating a budget to manage expenses, and exploring investment options to maximize savings. By taking a proactive approach to retirement planning and seeking professional financial advice if needed, individuals can increase their chances of achieving a financially secure retirement. In summary, while the average retirement age in the United States is around 62 to 65 years old, many individuals struggle to retire comfortably and end up working well into their 70s or even 80s. It's important to plan for retirement carefully and seek professional financial advice to ensure a financially secure future. So there you have it, some truly mind-blowing financial statistics of the average person in the United States. These numbers paint a bleak picture of the state of personal finance in our country. But it's not all doom and gloom. 
By taking control of your finances and making smart choices, you can break free from the cycle of debt and achieve financial freedom. Like, subscribe, and share. Out.